Hey guys, it's your boy Dina Dunn Handyman, and today we're going to be fixing a plumbing leak. As you can see, I got the new hats, and I'm going to be giving one to one of you guys. Stick around and see how it can be yours. We're in a bathroom, and we have a slow leak from the toilet water cutoff. I don't know if you can see, but right here, it's a little wet. Slow, not really going to damage anything. I'm planning on just replacing the whole thing. And also, I've got a new water line for right here. First thing you want to do is cut this off, which cuts water off to the toilet. And then we're going to cut water off to the whole house because we got to take this loose. And if we didn't do that, water would go everywhere. Water is off. Once you've cut the water off, you want to let all or most of the water drain out of the pipe so no more is coming out. Now there's still going to be a little bit of water in here um, when I unscrew it. Um, but not much, and I have a little towel for that. So I'm actually going to disconnect this first. So you just wrench on there, hold this with your hand, and then get it started, and you should be able to unscrew the rest by hand. And you'll get a little bit of drippage coming out, but not too much. Now that I've gotten that line off, I will unscrew this from this. So I just found out that this new one is actually not compatible with this one because the threads aren't long enough. So I'm actually going to have to cut my CPVC pipe right here, add a coupling, extend it a little, and then put the whole new assembly on there. Help a brother out next time and leave me a little bit more excess pipe. So since I don't have enough room to really work at all, um, I'm actually going to go under the house and cut it from under there, push a new pipe up. So I'm under the house and I've located the pipe right here. So I'm going to snip it right here, run a new pipe up, and then put a coupling right here. Just cut it right here to run my new pipe up through the floor so that right there is my new pipe coming up from under the house I'm gonna push it down then I'm gonna put an elbow coming this way I got my elbow pointing this way and now I'm gonna put a glue pipe right there coming out And since I was complaining earlier about not having enough slack, I'm going to cut it about right here and then attach my piece on. So if I ever have to do this again, it won't be that hard. This is the little piece that came with the shutoff assembly. You actually have to put this on first. Don't glue this on before you put that on. I almost made that mistake just now. And then this will slide up and then we'll be able to screw our shutoff valve to that. I'm back under the house and now I'm gonna connect this pipe to this one with a cup. And for this particular glue, you're actually supposed to wait 15 minutes for good handling strength and then two hour cure time. So I'm going to wait 15 minutes for screwing 
my shut off valve to that and then two hours to cut the water back on so I waited a little longer than 15 minutes it's on there just not ready for water pressure so I'm gonna go ahead and screw this on I got this new water line I'm about to hook up. And a nice little finishing touch. To hide and cover up. That's the final product. This job was a little harder than I thought it was going to be. I thought I was going to be able to just unscrew the old shutoff valve, screw the new one back on. However, I had to go under the house, cut the pipe, run new pipe, glue it all together to make that new shutoff work, which is fine. And it was also good that I had everything on the truck that I needed. So I didn't have to make an extra trip to Lowe's like in my last video. I'm going to go ahead and wrap that video up there because all I have to do is wait to cut the water on and then I'll be done. About the hat giveaway, all you have to do is comment. I'll pick a random winner from the comments. Make sure to like, already know you're going to comment, and subscribe. Have a good one.